Well, today is the BB. Sweetie asked me, what's the BB? What's the BB? <laughs> It's the big battle. Today we're going to have a battle between a keto meal and a low fat meal. Well, welcome to Beat Diabetes. As you can see, I have my lovely wife with me today. So happy you are here to join me. I'm glad to be here. How y'all doing? <laughs> so we are going to be showing the results of tests we did after eating two different kinds of meals. Yes. Last night we had a what kind of a meal? Um, it was like um a big meal, like you know, um, high fat. Yeah, high fat keto kind of a meal, high right? High fat keto. Mm -hmm. And today is just the opposite. You know, in this world, there are all kinds of controversies where people prefer one over the other. Okay. Some people love dogs. Other people love cats. And a cats. lot of the cat lovers thinks dogs think dogs are terrible, and the dog lovers thinks cats are totally worthless. Mm. You have a preference? Well, um, these days I've been seeing on YouTube, you know, people kind of cats and dogs are getting along. Yeah. Just like some people can't get along. Well, that's that's <laughs> true. And then in sports, some people think basketball is the only sport. Others think football is the only sport. Yeah. And of course, in Nigeria, there is only one sport, and in pretty much all of Africa and Europe. And what sport soccer. would that be? Yeah. Because Somebody they, play me some soccer. They call it football. You can't understand. Uh, when people throw passes and catch them with their hands, that just doesn't seem right in a game called football, does it? Uh, no, because uh, <laughs> football, you play it with your foot. And mm. if you catch it with your hand, that's mm. a foul. <laughs> and here, you know, it's, it's called football, but they catch it with the hand. And it's really good. I'm trying to, you know, get along and learn how it works and uh, get into it. I'm loving it. And it, when it comes to beating diabetes, there are basically two types of diets that are pushed. Mm -hmm. uh, almost everybody agrees the standard diet doesn't work. So some people will say, you've got to cut that fat way down. I yeah. mean to almost no fat at all, and that'll solve your diabetic problems, or at least it'll slow them down. Right. And so that was the standard advice given really over the last 50 years. Cut your fat down. Quit yeah. eating all that meat and that saturated fat. Mm -mm. Uh, just eat things with almost no fat at all. Okay. And uh, that was the advice given. But there was one problem with it. And right. that was that advice didn't work. Mm -mm. Just did not work. And so some people over the last 20, 30, 40 years, starting really with Dr. Atkins, kind of flipped that thing on his head. And started to say, instead of cutting your fat way down, how about cutting your carbs way down? And raise the fat up. <laughs> and raise the fat up. Atkins wasn't Flip that book on push, big on pushing fat, but he, right. he definitely was on, on the low carb side. Yeah. So the problem was it, it did not work. It, it'd be like someone saying to you, if you want to lose weight, eat lots of ice cream and watch TV 12 hours a day. <laughs> so you think, well, that sounds good. So you eat ice cream f with your breakfast, with your lunch, with your supper as a, as a night snack. You watch TV all day long, practically. Okay. And you end up gaining weight. Mm. Well, what's wrong with that picture? The uh, advice simply does not work. Yeah. And this advice to eat a low fat diet. Low fat. High carbs. High raise cap. the carbs or at least keep them fairly high. Cut that fat way out. Cut just doesn't out. work. Doesn't work. Last night, we had a keto meal. Yes. And we had high fat and quite a bit of protein and very few carbs. I'm beginning to love my, you know, keto food. You know, what we ate last night was pretty good. I it enjoyed was, it. It was good. We mm. had a bunch of hamburger. Bunch of it. What else did we eat? We ate um, avocados. Avocado. And mm. uh, green pepper. Green pepper. Now, green uh -huh. pepper doesn't have any fat to it, really, to speak. No. But it has so few carbs, you can slip that in with no problem. Right. We had some... We had some coffee and then some nuts. Yeah. We had the bulletproof coffee, so we threw in a tablespoon of butter and uh, several tablespoons of cream. Right. A lot of good, good fat in that coffee. Good is in there. <laughs> <laughs> and then we had some macadamia nuts that are loaded with fat. Just right. have lots of fat. So we had a filling meal. In fact, we were both great stuffed. Great meal, great meal, great, great, great. And it barely budged our blood sugar. I know. So it was good. Today, we've got a totally different kind of a meal. 
You may say that we flipped it. <laughs> we flipped it back, going the other direction. <laughs> Describe what we've got here to eat for this evening. Okay, here we have、um, corn. We have one banana. We have、um, one bre-、uh, chicken breast, and then、uh, about two or three、uh, kind of few、uh, beans and、um, and some brown rice. Right. And this. Don't、We're、forget. gonna wash it down with a nice glass of juice, orange juice. Orange juice. Yeah. There's hardly any fat in this entire meal.、Mm. Corn, no fat. Rice, no fat. Beans, no fat. Chicken, very, very little very fat. Very little. <laughs> Banana, no fat. Orange juice, no fat. It's just basically almost a zero fat meal. Yeah. And of course, the question is, what will happen to our blood sugar with the keto meal? We're not going to tell all the numbers right yeah, now, we're not but、mm-hmm. I'll give you a hint. It、uh, didn't go very, f- yeah, very, very far.、Mm-hmm. It didn't spike much. Stayed that close. Stayed that close. close.、Mm-hmm. Now I have brought in an expert and invited expert. him to be a guest on this program. I thought I'm the best guest up in here, like well, the expert. Well, we're going to see. I'm I'm going to invite a man by the name of Michael R. Meter. To、Mike、come and join, and join the program. So right now, let's give a big hand for Mike the Meter.、Yay! Well, here he is, the one and only Michael R. Meter. Mike is here. Let's、yeah. welcome him. <laughs> now, you know what I think. What do you think? I'm thinking he gets more applause than you do when I invite you to be on the show. What do you think about that? Now you're trying to upset me. I'm gonna <laughs> smash this thing. <laughs> Well, <laughs> no, I get more applause from my friends, you know, on, on YouTube, and、um, yeah, I am just giving him, you know, the applause from well, here. I, I, yeah, I, I have to say that these two sometimes get into arguments over who's the most popular. And Michael insists that he is. Benedicta insists that she is. So I'm trying to reconcile them on today's program and get them to be more friendly with yeah, each other. Yeah, we are. So,、uh, Mike, I want you to say something nice. Give Benedicta a compliment. You're looking very beautiful today. Okay. Now, Benedicta, say something nice about Mike. Okay, Mike, you are so intelligent, and then you are so good at what you do. Well, there. Now, hopefully, a reconciliation has occurred. There'll be no、yep. more arguing between Mike and Benedict. Yeah, there shall be no more argument. Now, we do want to ask Mike as you look at these foods: the beans, the brown rice, the chicken, the、yeah. the corn on the cob, the banana, the orange juice to drink it with. Right. What is your opinion based on the thousands of blood sugar tests that you have done? What do you think about this meal? Warning! Warning! Danger ahead. Really? Well, Mike says that、uh, there's danger ahead. There's、uh, mm. this. This could be a problem. Right. But you know, Mike, when we look at these foods, there's not a junk carb、mm. in the batch, right? Not too junk. This one、these、may are, be a little junky. These would all be. <laughs> these would all be considered healthy carbs. Corn on the cob, very natural.、Mm. Beans. Have some protein, very natural brown、okay. rice. We're not eating nasty old white rice. No, we're not, eating brown rice. Brown rice, yeah. And then、mm-hmm. look at this sparkly、beautiful、bit of orange juice. Colorful, beautiful, colorful, just chocked and jammed with vitamin、orange、C. Juice, so good. There are so many nutritionists, folks, that would pat me on the back and say, "Dennis, you're doing、mm, great. Good job. Great you're job, doing great."、Mm-hmm. We're going to eat this meal. This. High carb, low fat, almost zero fat meal, and we're going to find out if Mike pats us on the back、yeah. and tells us we've done good. We're going to actually come back about an hour after we finish, and we'll test ourselves on camera and let you see what has happened to our blood sugar. We tested it before. Do you remember what you were?、Uh, your blood sugar before we came yeah, on camera? Yeah, I was ninety-one. I thought that we're 90, not telling. Ninety, I think you were. Ninety or ninety-one. So, and I was at eighty-one. I think you were ninety. I was at eighty-one. So how, the question is, how far will we rise at one hour?、Uh, we will be back. Until then, this is Dennis, Benedicta, and Mike saying, "See you in a little bit." See you in a little bit. Get it out of me. Well, we are back. It's been an hour since we finished that meal. Did you get filled? Yes, I. I was overfilled. <laughs> There was a lot of food. In fact, I couldn't even eat all my rice. Yeah, I. I kind of left a little. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I left more than you did. But it has been an hour, so we are going to test. Why don't you go first? And uh, uh, on the keto meal, mm-hmm. your blood sugar bumped up something like 10, 11 points, I think, at an hour. Yes. Let's just see what happens here. One sixty six, a lot higher than last night, right? Wow, yeah, very much higher. Wow, one sixty six. Can you believe it? Exact same number, one sixty six. Wow, that. What are the odds? Why do you like to copy me even when your blood is really <laughs> is copying me? <laughs> okay, well we're going to test it two hours. We won't come back for that, and then we'll come back for a final wrap up. Uh, after that. So we will see you in a little bit. Well, folks, our test is complete. And let me ask my wife, were there any big surprises with these two meals and the test we did on them? No, there was no big surprises. It was exactly what we expected it to be. Right. We assumed that a low-carb meal would produce minimal glucose rise and a high-carb meal would produce a maximum rise, and that's exactly exactly what we got. got. So no surprises at all. Go ahead and read your scores for the keto meal first. This was the hamburger and the avocado. We had bulletproof coffee, lots of fat, good old fat, (laughs) and uh, (laughs) and it didn't do much to our blood sugar. Go ahead and tell them what you did on the keto uh, scores. Well, um, on the keto, uh, my pre-meal was um, 82. And um, after 30 minutes, it was like 93. And then in one hour time, it was uh, 93. And then by the time it was two hours, I got 100. Okay. So uh, uh, the very top score was at the two-hour mark. Right. And it was at 100, which is almost nothing. Uh, Yeah. It it was a bit of a rise from 82. But still, when your peak is at 100, you're doing good. good. Now, let's contrast that with a low-fat meal okay. where we had high carbs but low fat. Tell us what you got on those numbers. Well, on those numbers, uh, pre-meal was 90 and uh, th- in 30 minutes time it was 138 and then in one hour time it was 166 and then in two hours time I was 142. All right, so there's a huge difference. You Your peak with keto was 100. Your peak with the low fat, high carb was 166. Well, yeah. So that's, that's a huge difference. And let's, uh, I'll share with what uh, I got on my uh, keto meal. I started at 84 before eating. 30 minutes after eating, I was at 85. One hour after eating, I was at 87. Basically almost nothing at all. Finally drifted up a little bit to 91 at two hours. So we would consider that my peak, 91. Uh, <laughs> not too shabby. The low-fat meal we just ate this evening started at 81, which was great, but by 30 minutes, I was already at 151. That's why I knew it at an hour is going to be worse still, but I knew I was in trouble. At one hour, I ended up with the same exact score as Benedicta, yeah. 166. At two hours, uh, we were on our way back down, and I, I was at 149. So we wow. both were starting to move downward by two hours. And that's one thing you get when you're eating a lot of carbs. Right. Your, your pancreas is dumping out all kinds of insulin, and so usually by two hours, you're on your way back down. But, boy, right. you hit a pretty high peak at one hour, right. which is what we did. Well, what is happening? Now, when we get these numbers on little Mike, mm. those are not just numbers. That's not just a little game we're playing. That is telling us what's going on in our body. I can't yes. look in my body and, and know what's going on, but Mike can tell me. Mm. When Mike tells me I've got a 166 as a peak, it means... My glucose is so high, my body's being damaged. Right. Now, the reason I could do this today is because I do this like twice a year or so just as a YouTube demonstration, but I don't do this normally. Mm-hmm. And so uh, 166, your body's being damaged. You are hurting yourself. You're hurting your organs. You're hurting your blood vessels. Your, 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 your blood is becoming uh, syrupy. It's not flowing freely. You are damaging yourself. Mm-hmm. And there's another thing that's going on, and that is your insulin is high. If if your glucose is high, you can bet, unless you've got impaired function of your pancreas, your insulin is high. Now, we were watching a documentary about Muhammad Ali the other night, 
And Benedicta was asking me, what is a jab? They talked about how Muhammad Ali had a good left jab. So she said, well, what is a jab? And I explained it to her, and I talked to her about a hook as well. So let's let, and, and we're going to tie this into diabetes in a minute, so just hang in there. Benedicta, show them a good jab, good left jab. Okay, like uh, Muhammad Ali? Well, like Benedicta Pollock or however. Okay. Come um, on. Boom. Boom. Left jab, jab. And then there's the right boom. hook. And then jab. All right. So some people call that the one-two. You give them a jab, you give them a hook. Diabetes has got a jab and a hook. The jab is the high glucose that's hurting you. The hook is the high insulin that is also hurting you. So you're getting hit two different ways. The good news is... Say good news. Good news. Don't we all like good news? We love good news. The good news is we can fight back. Okay. We've got a jab of our own mm -hmm. and a hook of our own. Our jab is the low-carb diet. Bam. We can fight back, and we can hit harder than diabetes can hit us. And the hook is time-restricted eating and an intermittent fasting. And with those one, two, we can beat diabetes. Wow. Before closing the video, I want to make a couple of important quick points. First, Benedict and I do not take meds or insulin, so the numbers on our glucometer were our own body's responses to the meals that we ate. Also, I need to say that both of these meals were really filling, quite large, and normally I would not eat such large filling meals at dinner time. But it is nice to know that with a keto meal, Ben and I were totally stuffed and still our blood sugar went almost nowhere. You can eat very well on a keto or low-carb diet. The 166 peak I had from the low-fat, high-carb meal was probably significantly better than I would have seen when my glucose control was at its worst. And if many of you ate that meal, you would not see a glucose peak of 160 or so. You would see your glucose levels soar into the 200s, 300s, or beyond. The simple fact is large grams of carbs on your plate equal high numbers on your glucose meter, which means way too much sugar and way too much insulin floating around in your blood. And that means your body is under attack. And lastly, remember that these high-carb, low-fat foods were not junk carbs. They would be approved and recommended by perhaps most nutritionists. But a diabetic's body can hardly tell the difference between white rice or brown rice, between crunchy, nutty, whole wheat bread or smooth and soft white bread, between a candy bar or a banana, between honey or table sugar. All of these will send your glucose soaring in a hurry. So we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, hopefully, Benedict will be on for another exciting, action-packed episode of Beat Diabetes one of these days. And until then, say goodbye to the beautiful folks in YouTube land. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching, and God bless you. I'm always here to, you know, do more videos for you. Thank you for watching.